first off, welcome to the second half of the day. Thank you all for joining us for the TA Summit. This is absolutely one of my favorite events of any given year. And I think we all owe a round of, round of applause to Roberta and Pat for pulling this together and Kathy Oliver for making it all a reality. It's a beautiful job, absolutely beautiful job. Uh, my name is Kelly Reiner. I am the Senior Vice President of Business Development for ThinkWell Group. And I is my pleasure, my privilege. I wasn't drinking at lunch. I really, I wasn't. It's my privilege to invite up to the podium a 25-year veteran in the industry. She's been involved in the development and operations of theme parks, attractions, events, and exhibits, both in Canada, the United States, and Europe. She's held senior management roles at Canada's Wonderland, and she was the director of operations for the Lego company, uh, both in England and Carlsbad. And now at BAM, she leads design and production teams for a fantastic company that provides design and project services around the world. So Christine Kerr is our vice president, is the, not only the vice president of BAM Productions, but she's our TEA president of the International Board. Please give her a warm welcome as we invite her up to the stage. Thank you, thank you, thank you Kelly. And thank you very much to, uh, to Pat and Roberta um, for uh, what has started off to be a really fa fantastic day. So I'm looking forward to uh, part two. We won't take much of your time. Um, and I will introduce my friend here properly in a minute. Um, I do want to um, introduce you to a few other folks here first. I'm the president of the international board. The TEA has an international board and then we have divisional boards as well. And these are all volunteer positions. I just was re-elected for my second one year term and I will finish that in, thank you. And uh, I, I think I'm demonstrating that it is possible to have a president who doesn't uh, live in Los Angeles. Um, only Keith and uh, Nick Farmer have done that before. So, um, so anyone who's interested who doesn't live in Los Angeles of my international board colleagues should take note of that. Um, and, uh, uh, um, and so my term will complete in November and um, we will elect from among the, the board members um, another, a new president and I'll be the past president. Um, I'd like to ask my international board colleagues to stand up and then I'll introduce you some divisional board members. So anyone who's on the international board of the TEA, if you could stand. Thank you. Um, and then um, I know we have David Wilrich, who is the president of the Europe and Middle Eastern division. Bravo. And we also have Tracy, who is the president of the Eastern North America Division Board, both uh, doing amazing, amazing things. All the events that are happening in, in those uh, regions are happening because of these people and their great boards that they are um, leading. We also have some committees. Oh, and sorry, divisional board members. I know we have someone from our Asia Pacific division board, and we have others as well from, from our divisional boards. Can, can you all stand? Just, I won't introduce you by name, but please stand. Thank you very much. Yes, amazing. Um, and then a lot of the work that we do happens because of committees and committed committee uh, chairs and, and members. And some of those people are board members, but some of them are not board members. And certainly their committee members are not uh, necessarily board members, but it's a great way to recruit and get people excited so we can suck them into our web and keep them involved <laughs> for a long, long time. Um, so Clara Rice is our, uh, uh, is our uh, next gen committee um, uh, chair. David Ion is our, um, is our membership committee chair. And uh, Steve Burkett is our finance committee chair. And Dale Sprague, whose name tag I've seen but is not here yet, is our marketing and communications committee chair. So lots of uh, great involvement um, from board members and TEA members. Um, and um, 
Jenny's going to talk about some other important volunteers who are in the room um, in, a, in a few minutes. Um, this is a really exciting time for the TEA. We are doing so much with our Next Gen initiative. Uh, we have launched this past year an Asia Pacific division, our first new division in a long, long time in a region that is very, very active and the board is very active and there's a lot going on. So we're looking for a lot of growth in that region. And very soon we will launch our new website. We've been hearing about this for a long time, but it is happening. And so um, later on in the summer, we will uh, see a new website and you will all see the amazing um, look of it and what everyone's um, uh, company pages will look like um, is very new and very different for us. So that's fantastic. We also have a new leader um, and uh, that person came to us uh, this summer after a search. Uh, we, we had many, many applicants for the position and we are, we've changed the role. Jean Jeffers retired in uh, December and we, we agreed as a leadership team that we wanted to look at our association a little bit differently and hire someone rather than to be an executive director, which is very much associated with the nonprofit world, to shift our thinking and hire someone who was going to be our chief operating officer. And that doesn't change the fact that we are a nonprofit, it, what it does, and an industry membership association, but what it does is it shifts our thinking. So we look at running this nonprofit in, with for-profit thinking. And so in, uh, in, um, in the fall of last year, a recruitment committee comprised of Rick Rothschild and Roberta Perry and um, myself and Steve, Scott Alt um, interviewed uh, many candidates and uh, we uh, were so thrilled that that search brought us Jenny Nevin, who is our new COO. <laughs> So I'm just going to give you a little bio on Jenny so you understand. And if you haven't met her, please make a point of introducing yourself. She's absolutely immersed and embraced um, everything that we do and is so enthusiastic about um, our association, as you'll find out in a minute. But uh, let me just uh, speak a little bit about, uh, about Jenny. Um, she uh, became the new leader of the TEA in November 2013. Before us, she served as Director of Operations and Deputy Executive Director for the Hollywood Radio and Television Society in Los Angeles, where she was responsible for producing multiple large events annually, led membership drives, and realignment of membership programs, resulting in dramatic increases in both revenues and memberships. She was responsible for financial oversight, daily functions of the association, marketing, and member services. So as our uh, COO, Jenny is actually doing a fantastic job really looking at everything that we're doing and how we're doing it with a very analytical um, and um, informed perspective. And that's really fantastic for us. So um, without any more uh, to say, I introduce you to Jenny. Thank you so much. Joining the TEA uh, as the new COO has been such an adventure. Uh, themed entertainment is a new industry for me, but it's such an exciting and creative and fun industry. So just learning all the aspects of what you do has been thrilling. Uh, TEA itself has such a dynamic and creative membership base. And the fact that we're from a global community, uh, it's also very exciting. Um, dealing with creative people on a daily basis adds to the benefits of uh, my position for sure. Um, this is my first summit, so I'm so thrilled already with all the inspiration and ideas that have been shared and all the learning that we've experienced so far, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of our weekend events. Um, there's so many exciting things that are happening for TEA this year, and I get the privilege of our breaking news. So we have now decided on our location for our SAIT conference this year, and it will be in Sarasota, Florida, uh, at the Ringling, and it's being sponsored by Florida State University. And it'll be October 2nd and 3rd. And Aram Eben and Stefan Lawrence have both agreed to be our fabulous co-chairs again uh, with their loyal team of segment chairs. So that is big news for TEA, and we're quite thrilled. Um, as Christine went and did a site survey and visit there, she couldn't imagine a more fantastic place for inspiration um, and uh, discussing all of the creative ideas of the industry. Um, I want to make sure that I make a special thanks as COO to our Weekend of Events producer, Kathy Oliver, 
for her fabulous work and her dedication and time in pulling off this amazing event. There she is, if you want to stand, Kathy. We also have amazing board members and volunteers that we couldn't run the organization without. And that has been so impressive to me, uh, coming from a past association where the boards were a bit less active. So the dedication and the time that's spent here and the commitment, um, it's, it's really inspiring. I'd like to thank also uh, Joe Fox and Gary Fitch, our technical team here in the back running everything here for the show. And Judy Rubin, our PR, media chief, and publications editor. So here's to a very exciting rest of our summit and weekend of events culminating in our amazing Thea Awards Gala. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jenny. Um, next, we are honored to have back with us Everybody's favorite Imagineer, welcome back, Marty Sklar. And if you haven't bought his latest book, do. He's uh, going to put market and business trends um, in and the life and times of global attractions in a bit of context. Mm. Well, actually, they asked me to introduce uh, John Robinette and the group. And then when I got here this morning, they said, oh, no, no, you're not doing that. But when, um, when Pat and um, Roberta asked me to say a few words, and I looked at the title, Market and Business Trends, The Life and Times of Global Attractions, I said, how can you do that at all without talking about Buzz Price? Uh, David Price is sitting here in the front row, so I have to be careful what I say. Uh, but there's a wonderful confluence of... Uh, Buzz and TEA and uh, the business of analyzing projects for uh, other companies, for, for companies. And that is that, uh, of course, Buzz was honored as uh, the first recipient of the Lifetime Achievement Award, uh, now named in his honor, as a matter of fact, the, the Buzz Price, uh, um, whatever we called it. But it's all about lifetime achievement. And he was the first recipient for very good reasons because essentially he started this business when uh, he was at Stanford Research. And uh, Walt and Roy Disney asked him to um, analyze the ideas that Walt had for Disneyland and then to uh, recommend the site. And uh, that was in 1952. And Buzz went on to uh, create, uh, at Walt's request, a company called Economic Research Associates, which is now part of ACOM, and which John Robinette heads here in Los Angeles and uh, globally, I think. Uh, but uh, Buzz uh, did, I remember him saying that uh, in his career, he did 3,000 studies uh, for companies and uh, a lot of them were pretty stupid uh, <laughs> because, as he said himself, the owners uh, had a piece of property that didn't work or whatever it was. But what I really loved about uh, Buzz was that uh, he was uh, one of, as we all know, know, that we could not say no to Walt Disney because he'd find somebody who would um, and he'd take a chance. That was Walt. Uh, but Buzz knew that not everything that Walt suggested would work. And he, but he knew he had to develop a language. And the language was yes, if. Yes, if. Where you could come in and analyze um, a project, analyze what Walt wanted to do and Roy wanted to do, and uh, say, maybe if you tried this, you did this instead, it would work. And Buzz's point was that yes, if is the language of a deal maker, and no, because is the language of someone who wants to kill the deal. And creative people love yes, if. So uh, in many ways, uh, that was the foundation of this uh, whole, all the analytical uh, studies that have gone into projects uh, around the world. And uh, uh, 
Buzz was extremely important to the creation of this organization and to uh, the study of projects and the an analyzation of projects and the recommendation of projects in so many places around the world. So that's a wonderful confluence and uh, a great compliment to the, the subject that uh, John Robinette and his team are going to present. So it's all your turn to listen to them. Thank you. Thank you, Marty.